My name is Ken Beckman. I'm a professor in finance here at Copenhagen Business School. I've been doing research on incentive pay and employment contracts for more than 15 years. I've also had the pleasure of being part of several startups, including one where I was a board member, where part of our compensation was uh, equity pay. There are, like in other cases, no uh, easy fix out of the way you actually uh, incentivize people, and, and so there is no size fits all. You should be aware of what kind of company is it that you have, what is the, you can say, the, the business model for the company, and what kind of people is it that you have on board. So there are many different ways of, of incentivizing your uh, uh, employees uh, also for startups. The most common ones are claim shares, where they actually are invited in as usual shareholders, or where that is not, you can say, a, a very attractive plan, maybe due to the founders, then you use uh, warrants where you can convince all your employees that there is actually uh, some value sharing uh, to you uh, if there is a successful uh, exit in the end. So, so either uh, usual shares that have its own advantages and disadvantages, or some kind of sharing of any exit value. That, that's the norm, true norm. And they can even be combined if you want to. But, but that's the most useful uh, and, and most, most popular ways of providing long-term incentives into maybe liquidity-constrained startups. You should be prepared to actually also give latecomers some kind of share. That's maybe where warrants are, are slightly more flexible in the sense that they, don't, they can just be added on typically, whereas if you use shares or different share classes, then you should get into some kind of bureaucracy or at least some kind of challenges, at least in the way you actually treat the different share classes. First of all, try not to uh, achieve everything with the same uh, compensation package. You can uh, often end up having too complicated uh, structures and thereby nobody can actually see what is going on. So, so really make sure that it's as simple as possible but still living up to some of the objectives that you have as a startup. Uh, I will also, even though it might require some, uh, 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 might be partly uh, expensive, then at least seek some advice on how you make sure that the legal small print is, is, is sufficient such that you don't get into some legal debate uh, under the way. So for startups, of course, uh, employment contracts are very important and you can support your strategy and your business model by the way you incentivize your employees. But you should also be aware that, that money is not everything and therefore the whole culture and maybe perks and, and, and just the fact that you are uh, working on, on a specific idea can also be very, very motiva motivating for your employees.